Hi, this is Eel, and I'm playing Starbot. Um, I got this on Itch.io, and it looked really cool, so... Or cute. It looks cute. And cool, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Boot up. Huh? It worked! I didn't think it would! Phew. Would you look at that? Matt owes me so many eggs. Eh? Hello! I'm Lily. You can call me that. Eh? Aw, oh, hell. Of all things, I can't believe I forgot your voice box. Or maybe Matt did. Ugh. I thought she finished that already. Well, uh, I guess she owes me more eggs now. Eh? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. I guess I don't really have a choice, though, since you can't talk yet. Hmm. We've still got quite a bit of work to do, not including your voice box, unfortunately. But I don't really want to shut you down just yet. Do you think you can run a tiny errand for me? It'll be our first little robot test. If you think you're up for it. Ugh. Alright, if you want to just nod your head like this, see? Ah, uh, you'll get the hang of it. This shouldn't be too hard, just try to pay attention. Matt is in our lab on the northeast part of the satellite. All you have to do is walk outside and follow the path. Take it straight ahead until you get to the building on the end and go in. I'll send Matt a space mail explaining what she needs to do, so don't worry about it. Eh. Uh, Alright! Be careful now. I love you! Aw, thank you. I bet if these flowers could talk, they would say how much they like you. Unlike Matt, who never remembers to water anything! Oh. Okay. Matt still needs to finish your voice box. Our workshop is on the northeast of town. Okay. Found a dirt-covered note. You can't read these characters. Okay. It's filled with food. You don't need that, though. Some potted plants. You can't read the characters on the screen. A brawny mechanic poses with a half-completed robot. Some potted plants. Some complex algorithms. There are doodles of flowers in the margins. Some potted plants. Some potted plants. Alright, I'm gonna go upstairs. It's a watering can. Oh! Okay. Items. I don't have any items. Mods. I don't have any mods. Oh wait! Program stim simulating understanding and thought. Okay. Save? Yeah, I'll save. Quit? Nah. I don't need to quit. Alright. Going outside. What's this? See a butterfly. Hi, butterfly. Can check the mail. There is a package inside with a note attached. You can't read these characters. Can I not? Okay. Guess I'll be moving along. Oh, hi. One day I'll climb the biggest mountain there is. I'm not sure what I'll do after I climb the biggest mountain. I guess I'll have to build a bigger mountain. When I build the next biggest mountain ever, I'll live in a small house at the top and bake food for everyone who climbs it. Climbing can get lonely. Okay. Found the blue note. You can't read these characters. A painting of an egg in space. Okay. Found an orange note. You still can't read these characters. Because you're illiterate. A painting of very friendly eggs. You can't read that. Take a nap. Nope. Okay. Uh... Hi. I am the lamplighter. Good morning. Cool. Good evening. My job is so tiring. 
In my previous lives, I was a farmer, a herder, and a grave digger. It may seem odd, but these were very important jobs. It's hard for me to say if my job now is important. All right, nice to meet you, dude. Hi. How did you get into my house? I'm kidding. I saw you walk through the door. No one lock, lock, bleh, no one locks their doors around here. It's nice, but I do feel a little weird about robots walking into my kitchen when I'm wearing nothing but an apron. Oh gosh. I'm kidding. I'm not even wearing an apron. <laughs> hey, isn't it kind of weird to look in people's trash cans? Yes, yes it is. But I do it anyways. Pokemon taught me to look in trash cans. A painting of an egg experiencing an existential cr an existential crisis. Ah! So funny. Whoever puts cranberries in all of the other fruit has too much power. Do you know how hard it is to separate cranberry powder from apple powder? It's impossible. Just so you know. There is a drawing of a snake eating an elephant. It's a very ambitious snake. Found a birthday note. You can't read it. You can't read that either. Alright. Heading back out. There is a package inside. You can't read it. Inside are discarded parts. They look familiar. Found an instructional note. You can't read it! A scientist is peacefully asleep among potted flowers. There are a lot of eggs. It's dangerous to leave tools on the floor. Some complex diagrams. Unidentifiable parts. Holy hell! You're working! Dang, I didn't think you'd be up and about so soon. Lily sent you over here, didn't she? Are you all done now? Eh. Oh, shoot! That's right. I guess... I can guess what that space mail was about. I forgot to install your voice box, didn't I? Uh-huh. Dang! Sorry about that. I just needed to pick up a few more parts. I haven't had time to get them because I'm working on another project. If you want, you can pick them up from the shop, and I can get working on it right away. Do you think you can do that? Huh. Wow, you're pretty bright. Just head to the shop in the southwest part of the satellite. There is a sign in front of it, you'll see. Give these, give this receipt to the shopkeeper and they'll understand. Obtain a receipt. Good luck. You can do it. Diagrams. Robot body and prosthetic hand. And found an egg covered note. Ew, it's covered in egg juice. It's disgusting. You can't even bother to read it. Now it's pretty gross. What's up with these people and eggs? Um, oh, here we go. There's something under my bed, I'm sure. I tell it good night because it probably doesn't hear that from anyone else. Okay, yeah. Guess that's nice. You can't read these characters. Because you're still illiterate. I'm the librarian here. If you need anything, let me know. Okay. Can you teach me how to read? I guess not. I think you're the lamplighter. Hi, butterfly! Sometimes I really worry about my dental health. Robots don't worry about dental health, do they? 
You can bet in this age some smarter scientists would invent a way for robots to get cavities. Okay. Found the hungry note. You can't read it. A painting of an egg. In my previous life, I was a star. Stars are too aware of their own cycle of reincarnation. But now that I have eyes and ears and hands, I sometimes forget. Huh. Found the lost note. You can't read it. I can't read it. A painting of an egg experiencing hard times. <laughs> Is it all broken up about it? <laughs> Hi. Don't look at me like that. I'm hiding behind this tree for a reason. Okay. Oh, you're a lonely tree. <sighs> I'll keep losing things. I tell myself they're just things, but I liked those things. <sighs> Alright. Can't read it. Three times I've forgotten to buy something I needed from here. I don't think the clerk noticed yet, but just in case, I've waited a week before coming back each time. <laughs> uh, it's taking a long time to finish that toilet. God damn, do I have to poop? <laughs> what? Uh, silly. Hi, how can I help you? Show a receipt? Yeah. Oh, a receipt. I'll get these parts right up. Here you go. Have a good one. Received voice box parts. Inside, there are drawings of sheep. So many drawings of sheep. But inside, there are drawings of a small, beautiful person with straw-colored hair and a flowing cape. Okay, so one side's sheep, one side's... Person with the cape. Gotcha. All right. Hi. Have you tried my chicken soup yet? You should get on that. There is so much left, and I have no friends to share it with anymore. That's sad. Oh wait, you're a robot. Never mind. Robots these days are very lifelike. It's borderline unnerving sometimes. Maybe someday, someone will invent a robot that eats food instead of running on battery power. But then, you'd have to deal with robot poop. Okay. Found a red note. Can't read it. Found a tear-stained note. Aww. A painting of a very small egg. Alright. The harder I try not to think about something, the more I end up thinking about it. But anyway, I guess it can't be that bad to be thinking about chocolate pudding for several weeks now. <laughs> I guess. I guess there are worse fates than that. Alright, give me a voice. I need a voice. Hey! Those are the parts. Thanks, kid. I can fix you up right now, but I'm... Gonna have to turn off your AI for a little bit. We haven't done this yet, but don't worry. It shouldn't be a problem. Here it goes. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. Where am I? Is this robot dream sleeping things? Hi, tree. You are a different color. I'm just gonna go up here, I guess. Hi, plant. A small glowing plant bud. A young, bright glowing plant. Bleh, plant. So many plants. A mature glowing plant. Hello. Welcome to my garden. Please be careful not to step on anything. 
This is your garden? Did you grow all of these plants? Yes. I tend to the star plants. It is the most important job. Without me, the plants will not be able to grow into healthy stars. Oh, I would like to learn how to tend to these star plants. It's very complex, but I can try to teach you since this is the most important job in the universe. You have to sprinkle a small bit of stardust on each plant at regular intervals. It's hard because you may forget or you may be too sad or tired to do so. But that is okay. Remember to do it anyway. I don't think I'll be too sad or tired to take care of plants. You can't know for sure. Huh, I guess not. Take this. Obtain Stardust Pouch. You can use it to hold stardust you find. <gasps> Thank you. I can't wait to use it. You are helping with the most important job in the universe. Alright. Um. Items. Okay. How do I... I guess I don't need to worry about that right now. Oh. Oh, a star plant. Hello. <gasps> Hello. You are so pretty. Thank you. I'm not sure I'm that beautiful, but you have caught me before I have bloomed yet. Someday, maybe. I will grow into something more deserving. But right now, I am so cold and hungry. I will take care of you. If I stand here, maybe you won't feel the wind. And I can go find some stardust to feed you. Thank you. No one has ever cared for my needs before. I'm glad you found me, though. There isn't much stardust here, but you may be able to find some. Yes, I'm going to look. Thank you for finding stardust for me. I know, I was so quick, wasn't I? Cool. Is that all I need to do? Um. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally, like, leave you with no stardust. Oh, more stardust. Wait, can I not go back that way? Okay. Um. Oh, hi. Oh, you found some? Pour it here, on the ground. There. Are you feeling better? Yes, thank you. I've never gotten to eat so fast. But there is so little dust. I don't mean to bother you, but I'm still hungry. I'll go look for some more. Oh, you are so selfless. Please, be careful, though. I'm afraid you'll run into a sloth. What is that? A very slow creature. It is scary. What does it look like? I don't know. I haven't seen it. How do you know it's scary? I have heard. Also, it sounds scary. I don't want you to get eaten. But I don't want you to be hungry. I will be careful. Alright. tree. Oh. Get some stardust. Guess I'll go back. Here's some more. Here you go. Ah, that is wonderful. Thank you. Are you feeling better? Yes, I am. But what is it? I'd hate to bother you even more, but I'm still a little hungry. You've been too kind to me already. It isn't a problem. I like being useful. And I like you. Ah, I like you too. I don't want you to leave again, though. I will be back again. Oh, be careful, sloths. I will, don't worry. Hmm. Ah, some stardust. Does that go, like, in a cycle? Interesting. 
How do I go back <laughs> to where the door was? That's a problem. Oh! Okay! Got some more stardust! <gasps> You're back! Here's some more dust! Thank you! I think I am full now! I have not eaten so well in a long time! You look different. Do I? Yes, I suppose I feel a little taller. And my petals have come in a little more. I have been trying to think of how to arrange them. Do they look good like this? Yes. I like them like that. You look like a star. I am a star plant, after all. And I am growing so fast because of the dust. In fact, I am already starting to feel very different. Is that good? I think so. I almost feel like I want to move around. I think if I just... Hmm... <gasps> <gasps> this is so exciting! I am a star now! Look how beautiful I am! <gasps> Did you hear that? You just made a funny noise! Um, I don't know what you mean. I've never heard a noise like that! I don't make funny noises. I think it was funny. Uh, why don't we look for more stardust? I don't think I'll need stardust anymore. I'm already a star! Can I still go with you? Of course. I want to protect you from sloths. Oh, well, thank you. Let's go! Aw, got a cute little friend. Oh, star. Let's go ahead and say that. I am Huh. Okay. Guess I'll go. Oh. Woo. That was a long night. Ignore the egg liquids everywhere. Eh? Oh, wait. Hold still. Yeah, okay. You had some egg on your arm. Eh? Yeah, no, don't worry about it. That should do it, though. Why don't you try out your voice box? Hello. Hey there! <laughs> you pick up fast. It's funny. You've definitely got some robotic clipping. But you sound so genuine. You're kind of squeaky, too. <laughs> I like it. Thank you? <laughs> Thank Lily. Oh, speaking of which, she just space mailed me about your text recognition program. It'll help you read stuff. Sorry to make you run all over, but do you think you can do one more errand for her? Yeah, it's fine. Awesome! Now, just swing by the library and ask the person for the 8,900 language pack. It's on the east side of town, towards the center. Then head over to Lily's and she'll set it up. Okay. Thanks again. No, thank you. Guess I only have a star in my dream. Well, this seems like a good, a good stopping point for now. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's been really cute so far. And see you next time. Bye.